Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another uh, awesome collection, pop culture edition, and awesome toys, classic toys, toys of the 1960s. And today we're going to look at the Agent Zero M coloring book. I'll leave a link at the end where I uh, featured the radio rifle and radio rifle in its box on a separate video. This is a nice Whitman coloring book from back in the day, 19, what is it? You got the first page there, 1966, a lot of wear, uh, not wear, but aging on it, which otherwise looks pretty good. There he is, there is, he's got the camera gun there in that picture. I'm going to take a look through this. We're going to go it from the back to the forward. Zero M is the registered trademark of Mattel Inc. Whitman Publishing, 1966. Let's see if we can get the back here. The only way you can do it is like this. So we've got a lot of pictures. And a lot of them are kind of pedestrian and so forth and weren't too much geared to... Uh, The Agent Zero M toys, but they are towards the front. We'll get to that. As we flip forward, there was uh, one of them. On that one. This is a briefcase. These look cool, the shirt. There's those uh, glasses. Uh, they had those for uh, the toy. There's more on the radio rifle. I don't think they show the Sonic Blaster in here. Got a clubhouse. So they made a lot of uh, coloring books back in the day, and this was neat. It was done for the toy line. Classic toy. I've told this story before on the Zero M. Uh, the narrator on the commercial was William Conrad, most famous for uh, Jake and the Fat Man and the uh, Cannon detective series from the 70s. And then a young, just becoming a teenager, uh, Kurt Russell is in a couple of the Zero M toy commercials. Get to the beginning here. They show a couple of the... Oh, there they do. There's the Sonic Blaster. See it there? done a video for that but I'm going to leave the link for the the radio gun but if you look on there you can find my sonic blaster I have one of those loose and one of them in the box and there it is there Oof. so I think at the beginning of this they feature the sonic blaster and some of the other toys more than as you saw at the end of the story it was kind of generic so it was a neat they did a spin-off of this here. Very collectible by Mattel. Out for several years, 65, 66, or the big years for Zero M. I think it might have come out and started in 64, and it was finished up by 67. And there's the radio rifle folded up. See the little... Uh, Dot, dot, dots there. That's that part. There it is, folded up. Still have some more uh, things to do, like the, the knife that uh, comes out and so forth. And then I'm going to do an overview of uh, Zero M. There's the camera gun there. And there's the gun there, and I think that was what I'm going to use for the thumbnail. That's the weapon set. I got some of that. So you get the glasses and the pen and that. Risen, Grandpa. Is that the first pages here? So, uh, first pages on there. Very cool. Collectible co coloring books. I've done other coloring books for like the Show Combat and the Matt Mason toy line, Captain Crunch cereal, even at a thing. And a lot of them are done by Whitman, is the main uh, back of the day. 
for coloring books. There's the, the hand, and it folds up. Can't do it really one-handed, but it folds up. As you can see, it goes underneath, and the, the gun sticks in and so forth. It becomes the, the radio. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link to that at the end. All right, more pop culture and classic toys, toys of the 1960s, awesome collection, videos to come. Thanks for watching it.